hello dear students in today's class we shall start sorting concept as we all know sorting is nothing but arrangement of data items either in ascending or descending order we shall start with the first technique bubble sort okay as you all know sorting techniques means they are all arranging the elements so there are many different techniques in this concept so we'll see one by one we'll check out with the bubble sort bubble sort is a very easy sorting technique and we will see what is its complexity also in this okay let us assume a data here you can see there are six uh, items or six data elements 89 45 68 90 and 29 17 fine so what are we are going to do in this bubble sort the concept is very simple we are going to compare the left element 89 with 45 or we can say let us call 89 as j and 45 as j plus 1 i'm going to scan this set of elements from left to right okay up to 17 i'm scanning when i start scanning i compare the element 89 with 45 i'm starting from left to side comparison first two elements will be compared again next two elements okay we'll just see how so when 89 is compared with 45 okay what is happening we are checking whether 89 is greater than 45 the logic is simple left number is compared with the right number if it is greater than interchange their location 89 greater than 45 yes yes means interchange their locations places fine so now 45 goes to 89's place and 89 comes into 45's place you can see the red box i have circled there to show you the comparison similarly now we are going to go for the next two elements now 89 is compared with the 68 So when 89 is compared with 68, we check out 89 is greater than 68. That's why these two numbers have to be swapped since 89 is greater than 68. Similarly, we are going to go for the next uh, comparison, 89 with 90. But 89 is lesser than 90, so there is no chance of exchange, or they are not going to be sw swapped here, or we can say there is no. interchange of locations here fine similarly we are going for the next two elements 90 and 29 90 is greater than 29 so swap the elements similarly finally we'll go for 90 and 17 90 is greater than 17 again swap the elements in this way we have compared from left to right scanning i have started from left to right i have reached up to 17 i have number of comparisons here in the red boxes you count 1 2 3 4 and 5 so up to 5 comparison i have reached 17 so in the first scan here what we are trying to do is we are going to get the highest element bubbled up that is 90 has come up as the largest element now prior to this 90 you can see 90 has taken up its place as the highest element fine this is the uh, concept in bubble sort highest element bubbles up next remaining element in the next iteration we will do the same concept what is the next iteration with the left out elements or next scan of for the remaining elements from 45 to 17 you can see here with 45 and uh, 17 we have just going to go for the next iteration here now compare 45 with 68 what happens when 45 is compared with 68 since 45 is lesser than 68 there is no need to interchange their places then 68 is compared with 89 when 68 is compared with 89 what we are doing here when both of them since it is lesser no need to swap them since 68 is lesser than 89 no need to swap so they are kept as it is again come to 89 and 29 they are 89 is greater than 29 swap the elements here again 89 is compared with 17 since 17 is lesser than 89 we again swap the elements so in this way you can see during my second scanning from 45 to 90 or from 45 to 17 remaining elements okay i have bubbled i have got the element second highest 89 uh, as a next highest element and that has bubbled up here first element i got in the first scan 90 bubbled up in the second scan 89 bubbled up here isn't it so now who are the left out elements here 45 68 29 and 17 okay let us go for the next iteration that is with how many scan i am now i have completed first scan second scan okay after completing of second scan the remaining elements will go for the third scan again from left to right we are going to compare here okay here you can see the red boxes okay 1 2 3 4 scans have completed and i have got my second highest element now for these remaining elements let us check out same thing 45 is compared with 68 since it is lesser no need to swap again 68 with 29 since it is greater swap them again 68 with 17 since it is greater swap them now we'll get the 
68 as the third most highest element that has bubbled up during our third scan fine so now who are the left out unsorted elements 45 29 and 17 same thing we will go for the next iterations next scan we compare 45 with 29 since it is highest swap the elements so 29 comes to 45's place 45 comes to 29's place again 45 is compared with 17 next element so again we are going to get the next highest element fourth highest element bubbled up that is 45 can you see here first scan i got 90 bubbled up second scan 89 68 and the fourth scan i got 45 the last iteration is with the 17 and 29 so what we have got automatically if you check 17 and 29 this 17 is in a sorted position so 17 29 45 68 89 and 90 in this way we got a sorted list ascending ordered list fine so i hope this is clear for you but still i have not completed let's see the algorithm for this what you have written or what you are writing in your uh, uh, practical session there is an algorithm called bubble sort i'm having an array here with some limited number of elements i say that elements are n n number of elements fine in our case how many elements we saw in the example six our n was six and there are two for loops okay there are nested for loops and one is for i and one is for j let us see what are these i and j loops okay now how many scans i have done according to you how many scans we have done so we have gone for the maximum five scans here how i got here five scans because i started from the first scan and i completed up to n minus one scan n was six six minus one that is five scans okay and how many comparisons we got we got in the first box i showed you five red boxes five were there because how we are getting n is six six minus first scan six minus one you will get five comparisons again six minus two you will get four comparisons six minus three three comparisons six minus four two comparisons and six minus five one comparison so the number of comparisons are n minus i and number of scans are 1 to n minus 1 isn't it so we can that's the reason here you see the algorithm here the innermost and the outermost two loops are there which loop has to come first scanning or comparison definitely first you will scan then only you will start comparing so the outer loop is for the scanning purpose here i is equal to 1 to n minus 1 scans we have done that is why for i is equal to 1 to i less than or equal to n minus 1 i plus plus and inner loop is for comparison j is equal to 1 to j less than n minus i j plus plus these two loops are giving you one for scan and one for the comparisons and then each element i said you the left element i call a of j compared with a of j plus 1 the next element isn't it and then if it is greater then swap the elements okay swap interchange the elements this is nothing but swapping is you usually write the famous lines there temp is equal to a of j a of j is equal to a of j plus 1 and a of j plus 1 is equal to temp you can substitute that also here it's one and the same fine that's why you can see here we have just come concluded here that total number of scans are nothing but you can just go to the complexity here check it n minus 1 n minus 2 here number of comparisons i'm getting for the n elements n minus 1 to last comparison one comparison it is stopping to one comparison here n minus 1 n minus 2 okay dot order you can see last 2 then plus 1 so all together you are getting n into n minus 1 by 2 that is big o notation of n square the complexity here is bubble sort is having a complexity of n square i hope this is clear still i uh, just go, i will show you here i just recap here you can see what we are doing here how many uh, comparisons i showed you there n was 6 so in the first scan when scan was 1 okay just check out there when scan is 1 we are having here 5 comparison 1 2 3 4 and 5 comparison when n is 2 again that is next scan we are getting 4 here isn't it we are getting here 4 okay 6 minus 2 4 similarly here you can see then we are getting 3 then we are getting 2 and last one was remaining that got automatically sorted here so 17 is compared with night nothing but 17 is compared here and we are getting last comparison and that is giving you the sorted list so in this way we have just seen how easy this bubble sort is and its complexity and how we are going to write its algorithm also 
I hope it is clear and we'll go for the next sorting uh, concept in the next video. Thank you.